All right, so in a continuation of our uh, going through our, our cable and our bucket here, we're going to go into the ohming side of that, and we're going to go ahead and ohm this cable out back to the motor. So now here again, we got Ryan with us. He's going to walk us through that procedure. So Ryan, what do we got to do here? All right, we'll just go ahead and take our leads off so we can start fresh. And we're going to move our leads on our meter over to the other side. We do not want to be on the insulation side of the meter. We are still using a 1587. And we're going to take our dial and move that over to ohm. Okay. Now we can take our two leads, go to A phase, and go to B phase. We got five ohms. We're going to go now from A to C. We want to see consistency in ohms. 4.9, that's really close. And we'll take our A phase, go to B. So now we're going B to C on our last one. We got five 4.9 ohms. They're all relatively the same. And that's pretty close to what we were getting out in the field also at the motor. Correct. Okay. And we're looking for that consistency. Correct. Okay. Awesome. Uh, what should we do if we find, if we get a reading that doesn't seem to make sense? You get with your foreman. Awesome. Thank you.